Uh, my name is Mark Novlin. I'm a dentist. I graduated in 1980 from Marquette University, did a residency for one year at Denver General Hospital, formed Acacia Dental Group with my partner, Damien Mulvaney, back in 1986, and we've been in the Inglewood area ever since. We have a general practice, but we also include many specialty areas of dentistry. We added the 3D technology because we do implant dentistry, we treat temporal mandibular joint dysfunction, and you know we thought and we, we know that viewing the human structure in its natural state, which is three-dimensional, would give us more diagnostic ability and more treatment options. I looked at most of the 3D technologies available today. Um, the first thing we were looking for is image quality. SUNY by far had the best image quality, even comparing it to the Gendex CB500 and the Kodak 9000, SUNY was by far had the best image quality. The second thing that we were looking for was um, the configuration of the machine. As general dentist, our bread and butter x-ray is a Panorex. So we wanted a machine that took a good Panorex, cephalometrics, and 3D cone beam. The SUNY provided all three of those. Many of the other systems do not have that configuration. I'm Damien Mulvaney. I am a general dentist in Inglewood, Colorado. I have practiced general dentistry for 28 years. Um, I did a uh, general practice residency and formed a partnership with Mark Novlin and we call ourselves Acacia Dental Group. We have been practicing in the Inglewood area for over 20 years and I believe we've been placing implants since around 1995. Uh, we have a very diverse general practice. We do a lot of surgery. We place implants. We also do orthodontics as well as reconstructive dentistry. The reason Dr. Novlin and I chose the SUNY 3D system was based primarily on image quality. I think um, the one anecdote I can give you that probably defines it is one of my patients who's a radiologist uh, came in and I had him look at one of the images and he made one statement and he said, perfect. So I think that in, a, in itself says what, a, uh, what the image quality is with SUNY. The primary advantage of 3D imaging over 2D imaging for me is in the placement of implants in the maxillary arch, how much dimension I have in terms of the sinus and in the mandibular arch, how much dimension I have between the crest of the ridge and the alveolar nerve. And 3D enables us to measure the, the diameter of the ridge and the vertical height to the alveolar nerve in the mandibular arch. And in the maxillary arch, similarly, it gives us the ability to measure the width of the arch as well as the distance between the vertical distance between the height of the ridge and the sinus. Some of the other features of the SUNY 3D system that made it attractive to us were definitely, um, would it be easy to train our staff to use this machine and take images? Yes, it was. It was one of the easiest machines to use, and I thought the software was very user-friendly, which was important to us also because I didn't want to spend a lot of time having to learn another software program. This one, you could walk into it and start using it immediately. Since 3D imaging has become the standard of care, we have found that by having the system in our office, it's enabled us to present a lot more dentistry in a way that our patients are accepting it. We feel a greater degree of confidence, and so we're able to show patients that we can safely and predictably place implants. Their acceptance uh, after viewing the 3D images and the using the software to uh, show the placement of the implants has been uh, tremendous in terms of enabling us to get some form of return of investment on this uh, uh, on the system. Um, additionally, uh, being able to treat more complicated cases, which perhaps we may have referred out. So uh, I think that there is a significant return on investment on the uh, SUNY 3D. We measured the affordability of the SUNY 3D system and compared it to all of the other units. It was the least expensive, 
but had the highest quality, which was a great combination for us. I would say to all the general dentists that are contemplating 3D uh, technology that I would strongly recommend the SUNY 3D system that we have. We have been tremendously satisfied with it, the ease of use, our staff likes it. I want to be doing dentistry. I don't want to be sitting there manipulating images. So for me, one of the major attractions of this product is the fact that I can easily come in. The staff, after the staff has captured the images, I can do some simple manipulation using the bundled software and clearly show the patient uh, the, the necessary anatomical structures review relative to the procedure we're doing, whether it's an endodontic procedure, whether it's a, an implant procedure, or whether it's a uh, orthodontic procedure. The SUNY cone beam technology is definitely an investment in the future of your practice. It aids in your clinical delivery of dentistry. It allows you to um, deliver a better quality of dentistry Diagnostically, you're able to diagnose things better. You're able to plan your cases better. It might seem like an expensive piece of equipment when you're looking at them, but it will pay for itself in no time, and the quality of your dentistry will be much better.